Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the reduce, reuse, recycle arrows. I come up to the top in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a slight diagonal straight line up, straight line down, little straight line out, big straight diagonal down, big straight diagonal out, little straight line in, slightly curved line up, and connect. Right where I stop, I'm going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line up, connect. I come down here, let's go straight down and put a dot, and from that dot, I'm going to draw straight diagonal up, little straight line down, slightly curved line up, leave it floating. Come back down here, we're going to draw straight diagonal down, little straight line up, little straight line out, straight diagonal up, connect. Right about here we draw a straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Now we come over to this far left, put a dot, we're going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal down on the right. Little straight line in on the left, little straight line in on the right. Come back to the left, draw a curved line out and down. Come over here on this space right here and draw a slightly curved line down. Connect. Right about here we're going to draw a slightly curved line out, straight line down, curved line, connect. Right above, we're going to write the word recycle. Come over here, we're going to write the word reduce. And right here, we're going to write the word reuse. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, for the whole entire thing, we're going to use green. And what's interesting about this whole configuration is that this is a very universal symbol now for recycling. You see it on all kinds of bins and on papers and cans and all over the place to show that either the product has been recycled, reused, reduced, and because it's environmental, that's why usually they're all green. So when you have a symbol like this that takes on a life of its own, universally, globally, all over the place, that's a good sign of a good strong design. Now the other thing that's important is that you might want to make sure you draw this on a square piece of paper otherwise the arrows can get a little out of hand. We're almost done. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my arrows all colored in. Reduce, recycle, reuse. Okay, bye-bye.